top 10 action series on Netflix. They say lights, camera, action for a reason. And while that has nothing to do with the genre of television show, it's certainly a reminder that it's fun to watch actors shoot guns, play with swords, and get into fistfights without anyone actually getting hurt. Hey guys, welcome to your entertainment channel, Netflix Tops, where we tell you about the top rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of this video, because today's video is going to list down the top 10 action series to watch on Netflix. So let's get started. Number 10, Altered Carbon. Adapted from the 2002 Richard K. Morgan novel of the same name, Altered Carbon is a flashy, jargony, and at times, dizzying descent into sci-fi decadence. The show follows a 22nd century mercenary, Joel Kinnaman in season one, Anthony Mackie in season two, who is hired to solve the murder of a highly influential aristocrat. The catch? Said aristocrats are still alive, because in this version of the future, the wealthy can't really die. Instead, their consciousness is essentially uploaded to the cloud and downloaded into new bodies. In a world without death, the ensuring caper boasts the same jaw-dropping visuals and world-building as Blade Runner. In other words, there's a lot to digest here, but that means there's a lot to appreciate if you're patient. Number 9. Avatar The Last Airbender This Nickelodeon show has been hailed as one of the best animated series of all time for good reason. Maybe you were part of the generation that was obsessed with it during its initial run, or maybe you're yet to immerse yourself into this world of elemental nations. But there's never a bad time to watch or rewatch this stunning Western meets anime style series. Avatar The Last Airbender is an adventure tale that follows the quest of waterbender Katara, her brother Sokka, and a boy they find frozen in an iceberg named Aang, who ends up being the Avatar, a reincarnated being who can control all four elements, whose job it is to keep harmonic balance between the four nations. As they journey through the nation so Aang can master all of the elements and eventually face the totalitarian leader of the Fire Nation, the devastating scope of the world and Aang's absence becomes more and more clear. Don't be mistaken, there's a lot more to this kid's show than what you might expect, but Avatar The Last Airbender makes it look as easy as walking on air. Number 8. Outer Banks Centuries of colonization, wars, and storms mean there are tons of shipwrecks in the waters off the East Coast, just waiting for enterprising scuba divers to stumble across them. It's one of these ships laden with gold that's the center of the teen drama series, which follows a group of high school kids hunting for sunken treasure, while also trying to solve a mystery about one of the friends' missing father. Mostly due to the constantly evolving plot, Outer Banks' 10 episodes move at rapid clips, including a very fun fight aboard a fishing boat in a later episode where people are shooting harpoons and flailing at each other with enormous hooks, until the exciting final act. The subtext of it all, in finding the treasure and making themselves rich, aren't the central characters becoming the very thing they disdain the most, is itself a worthwhile pursuit. But for now, it's more focused on turning a summary archipelago into a den of thieves. Fine by us. Number 7. Cobra Kai Whatever happened to martial arts prodigies Daniel LaRusso and Johnny Lawrence after the Karate Kid movies? That's what the show Cobra Kai is out to find out. The series, which first aired on YouTube when the platform was producing originals before Netflix picked it up, is set in the present day and sees Ralph Macchio and William Zabka stepping back onto the mat, but flips the script on their character's role. Now, former underdog Daniel is rolling in the dough and still milking his child's stardom for all it's worth, and Johnny has reached rock bottom. The answer to Johnny's midlife crisis? Reopen the dojo, obviously. Inevitably, a new class of karate kids are introduced into the world of martial arts, and old rivalries are rehashed, making for a seriously butt-kicking take on a nostalgia property you didn't know you needed. Number 6. Money Heist This Spanish import isn't just one of the most popular non-English series on Netflix. It's a worldwide phenomenon about a group of robbers who plan an elaborate heist. The show has inspired fans to dress in the cast signature ensemble to carry out various pranks and even tried to emulate their plans in real life. Few shows have that kind of pull. Money Heist, aka La Casa de Papel, is one of the best heist thrillers running today. Though documenting in real time, a plan to take hostages in the Royal Mint of Spain in order to print and steal money. Every moment is exhilarating as the heist unfolds and the characters behind their masks, each with their own emotional turmoil, make the series as intelligent as it is heart-pounding. Let the money heist obsession inspire you to maybe not rob a bank, but take over. Number 5. Daybreak High school with its cliques, popularity contests, and bullies is tough, but if those years were set in a post-apocalyptic world with zombies running amok, we'd probably rather embrace the petty stuff instead. In Netflix's Daybreak, zombies are the reality, making for a joyfully ridiculous premise for a series. 
an adaptation of the Brian Ralph comic. Daybreak follows a boy named Josh, who's looking for his girlfriend with a crew of other weird, lost teenage souls in the fallout of a zombie apocalypse. It's all very pompous, imagining how the cheer squad, football team, and others might rally and respond to flesh-eating creatures. But that's part of the fun, upping the ante of a typical crude high school setting. Number 4. Ganglands with movies like the stripped-down Jean-Claude Van Damme character study, The Bouncer, and the icy Olga Korolento's thriller Sentinel, French director Julien Leclerc has carved out his own lane as an action filmmaker. His movies are concise, stern, and brutal. If you've enjoyed any of them, you should check out Ganglands, a drug war series he co-wrote with writer Hamed Heliwa. Leclerc directed each of the first season's six episodes, which track a battle between different warring factions in a high-stakes battle for control. Number 3. Kingdom A zombie period drama set in the Joseon Dynasty and Korea Kingdom intertwines biological terror with political intrigue. Adapted from the webcomic series The Kingdom of the Gods by Kim Woo-hee and Yang kyung il Kingdom follows Crown Prince Yi Chang, Ju Ji-hoon, who must investigate the undead plague affecting both his father and current emperor and the southern provinces. While attempting to curtail its spread and prevent it from reaching the capital, he must also prevent a coup led by those intending to take advantage of the crisis. Netflix's first original Korean series, Kingdom, is a refreshing period genre take on the well-tread zombie thriller. Number 2. The Legend of Korra Despite being critically acclaimed, this sequel series to Avatar The Last Airbender, set around the 1920s, hasn't received as much outpouring of love from fans. While the successor did have high expectations to live up to, those who tuned in and do ride for Korra as much as they do for Aang know how the series from the same creators is just as breathtaking and its ability to touch on a variety of socio-political issues in fewer episodes than Avatar had is even more impressive. It's the perfect binge for once you've finished Avatar, taking place after Aang's reign to follow the latest master of all elements, Korra, as she faces unrest in Republic City where the gears of a revolution are just starting to turn. Number 1. Love, Death Plus Robots there's a certain artistry to making entertaining, effective, and imaginative short films, and Netflix's animated series Love, Death, and Robots blends all three of those strengths with some really crazy sci-fi stories. The title pretty much says it all. Every episode will have elements of love, death, and or robots, and sometimes a combination of all three. From a tourist party of androids traipsing through a post-apocalyptic Earth, to a monster fighting ring where the creatures are powered by human minds, to an ancient civilization thriving in a couple's refrigerator, to a beautiful fable about an artist in the future who only paints using one shade of blue, Love, Death, and Robots is a multifaceted collection of some of the most exhilarating and inventive storytelling out there. And this brings us to the end of the video. What are your thoughts on today's video? Share with us in the comments below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.